Screencasting is a new form of communications. You see, it's not just for computer how-tos anymore. Screencasting empowers everyday people to create engaging, media-rich communications. The Gutenberg Press revolutionized printing. Broadcast television contributed to mass marketing. Now, screencasting software is creating a whole new class of producers, and even more importantly, a whole new class of consumers. Hi, I'm Scott Skybell. In this two-part series, I'm going to explore the impact screencasting has on first for individuals, and then second for businesses. More importantly, I'll share ideas and examples on how to get the most from this new communications tool. And I'll challenge you on how you're leveraging screencasting software yourself. In the United States, we've seen our society migrate from an agricultural society, where we were primarily farmers, to an industrial society, where we worked in factories, to an information society, where we work with data. We've become knowledge workers, or concept workers. We're not dealing with physical items, we're dealing with information. Daniel Pink, in his book, A Whole New Mind, talks about how creative and conceptual skills are the most important ones now. I'll add, you have to be able to communicate, to articulate, and to inspire with those ideas and concepts. It's not just about being able to manipulate data, it's about being able to transform it, to augment it, to create something new with it. And you can't do this in a vacuum. You have to be able to communicate it and share it. And that's where screencasting comes in. Screencasting allows us to communicate abstract ideas and concepts by using video, animations, and audio to tell a better story, a more inspiring story, a more effective story. Take a look at Monday Dots, as Jeff Monday explains his concepts with non-personified dots. He makes extensive use of Keynote's magic move technique to create really compelling explanations. And take a look at how Common Craft uses paper cutouts to explain web services. The simplicity is brilliant. So, let me ask you, as a concept worker, how are you sharing your knowledge? As a leader, how are you sharing your vision and inspiring your followers? How are you creating what Seth Godin calls a tribe around your passion? Dan Schwabel, author of Me 2.0, has a great blog about personal branding. Now he focuses a little more on Generation Y, but us older baby boomers could learn a lot as well. Dan makes a very astute comment when he says experience trumps education. Screencasting allows you to demonstrate your expertise, to shape your message, and to craft your personal brand. And the best part is, we're no longer dependent upon mass media, be it newspapers, radio, or television, to get our message out there. We can create and manage it ourselves, and then use YouTube for distribution. If you're looking for work, or trying to advance your career, it's no longer what a boss says about you in a performance review. Instead, it's about your brand, what you represent, and what you bring to the table. So if someone were to Google you, what do your digital footprints say about you? Outside of your company cubicle, who knows you? And what do you want to be known for? In this economy, where so many good people have been displaced, we sometimes have to reinvent ourselves. For example, a, a perfect example is Al Gore. Remember, after eight years, his job went away. Oh, and then he got passed over for that promotion. He had to reinvent himself. Now, I'm not here to talk about politics or the environment, but this dude won an Academy Award and a Nobel Peace Prize with a keynote presentation. Needless to say, that looks pretty good on a resume. Now, we may not have the ability to be vice president or have a movie created around us, but we can create our own keynote presentations. We can record them with screencasting software, sprinkle in some iMovie effects, and tell our own story. We can craft our own message and make ourselves the, st the star. Essentially, we can create our own inconvenient truth. So in this great recession, how has your job changed? 
How are you creating visibility for your own career? And what type of movie and message would you craft about yourself? As concept workers, we each have unique experiences. It takes time to learn what we know. I mean, let's face it, it took a lot of mistakes to get to where we are today. Screencasting allows you to package your knowledge, to take what you know and productize it into something you can share, or perhaps even sell. We all know time is money, so there's value in compressing the time to competency for others. It's obvious that people have been using screencasting to sell computer how-tos. I mean, heck, the video professor has been on TV hawking his stuff for years, right? But as concept workers, you might be wondering, is it possible to sell ideas and concepts? Of course it is. Just look at the book industry. A book is entirely made up of ideas and concepts. But imagine how much more engaging your content can be by incorporating presentations and screencasts. And now you're seeing this all over the net with people creating membership sites consisting of exclusive content, selective access, and training material made from screencasts. So let me ask you, how are you packaging your knowledge? If you've ever given a presentation to educate or inform others, is there a larger audience out there? And if you can't do it all yourself, have you ever thought about partnering with others that perhaps complement your skill sets? Now, I know self-promotion might be a little uncomfortable. And if you're looking for a job or something, you may be concerned about people prejudging you. See, you might be thinking, ah, oh, I'm too old, or I'm too fat, or I'm too bald. If you're concerned about prejudice because they're going to see you, realize they're going to form that impression when they meet you. Your objective is to compress your acceptance cycle time. Don't waste your time meeting with people in person thinking you're going to win them over. Decrease resistance up front by pre-selling and finding an audience that appreciates you. Your goals need to be transparency, authenticity, and credibility. Screencasting helps you find that audience, that sphere of influence, that market. You create rapport with people by letting them see your eyes, your smile, and to experience you. But you've got to put yourself out there for it to work. Screencasting really is a new form of communications. It allows concept workers to share what we know. With it, we can shape our own personal brand, reinvent ourselves, or even turn our knowledge into tangible products. But screencasting isn't limited to just individuals. In part two, I'll explore some ideas on how businesses can use this powerful communications tool. Until next time, bye-bye.